Hey folks, Jara here and welcome to Amberscape. Yep, it has some time passed from the last video of the photography session because it takes me quite a bit of time to gather 10 or more pieces for the photography session to even happen. And yeah, all of these are freshly polished and they look beautiful and shiny. And yeah, we've got a new toy in our disposition, this white thingy, and let's put everything on it and we will see what does it do. So these are visible quite nicely, the inclusions inside, like the white black dots, right? Now check this out. Yoink! <laughs> A lot more visible, it's basically lighting up from the bottom and we can see a lot better. And to that, you can add the side light to make it closer. Like so. In addition, I did upgrade my phone, so the video will be a lot better and crisper when making videos of the inclusions and I can't show the phone because I'm currently record recording with it but look at the difference comparing to before Magnificent and this is the piece, best piece of the day at least one of them and I will make photos for this one last and yes, it's in the same manner, all the inclusions are a lot better visible. We have a termite in this one, in the dark piece, and some other goodies, like this one. And yep, let's dig into starting pictures. I will be still using my trusty digital microscope. It's very budget-friendly solution for someone who wants to make uh, for, to start to make pictures for uh, inclusions. And yeah, let's start this video with a banger. And the banger is going to be this piece. So it is a cockroach, but I have my suspicions that not an ordinary roach. And it's visible from two sides, even though this side is quite murky. Possibly I will need to remove more surface from the back side. Oh, there's another insect in there. Yeah, let's move it under the microscope and check it out. Now we are still using mirror, as you can see. <laughs> it reflects my hands, so we are using mirror to get nice light reflection from the bottom but we also will try to use that new device of mine for this and yeah let's see how does it look on the microscope the inclusion so the first views are not so bad we can add the light to it so it's a little bit pro more properly lighted and we can get everything a lot closer to the, to the microscope put everything to the side Not bad, not bad. We'll also stack the pictures with the focus. There we go. Properly lighted up and focus stacked. This is the end result of the photo for the approach. And as I mentioned, I had my suspicions for this specimen. And multiple friends, together with cockroach expert Dr. Varshansky, confirmed my suspicion. This roachoid belonged to fully extinct family of roaches called Umonocolidae. Fall family has this distinct rectangular head with bulging compound eyes. I did an informative video on the Umonocolidea superfamily member Alionopteras. They are closely related. This is not yet adult specimen, but nicely preserved. Still missing its wings, so it's almost adult specimen measuring around 4 mm in body length. Extremely exciting find. These are rare and highly collected inclusions and first complete specimen of this species in my personal collection too. I'm in luck of words because, yeah, I really like the inclusions uh, of insects that are fully extinct, are not surviving to the modern days, and yeah, I've got another one in my collection. And this one will stay in my collection forever, probably. It's almost adult, missing wings. It's small species. It, wasn't uh, growing much larger than this, maximum like 5 millimeters maybe, 
Now, what I wanna do is I want to remove the mirror and see what kind of results can we get with this thingy. Yeah, so quite honestly, results are very similar. It's definitely w better than without the mirror with this thingy, but I think uh, mirror still have a slight edge overall. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, let's move to the next piece, which is gonna be maybe a less of a banger. Let's try this dark piece of a wasp. Dark Ember and Dark Inclusion is not good combination to get any proper pictures. It measures around 1mm in body length, truly tiny. I failed to get proper ID for this one, but I think it's some sort of parasitic wasp. Don't have many more comments about this one, it's a dark piece with a dark little wasp, it's some sort of parasitic wasp, man, but I was, when I was getting this piece, I had hopes that this is the wingless wasp. Uh, so Soteros or something like that. Anyway, let's go to another piece and let's take this very super light piece with curious flying insects with, which looks to have color on the wings, that's unusual. I thought that it was a wasp, and it's not, it's a diptera fly. This order is so crazy diverse, thousands of different fly species. This one wings color preserved which is extra cool, and looks a bit like a wood gnat, but to know for sure I need to send pictures to the dipteran experts. This one is super black though, luckily amber is super transparent. First guess was super wrong, it's not a wasp, it's some sort of diptera, maybe wood gnat. Yeah, so... Cool, still nice. It's not often I face two light pieces, so basically it's so transparent that you can't even see in the picture that it's an ember. Either way, uh, we have to choose the next piece, which is gonna be me. I guess this one. Holy moly man, look at this, who expected this kind of details from an insect that's around 2.5 mm big, so <laughs> I mean small, 2 mm small. Crazy details and yeah, looks very unusual, let me show you a bit cleaner picture, I mean from a little bit closer with my phone and then I will show you the microscope version. Look at this, wow! Look how tiny it is, it's crazy tiny. See that little booger in the middle of the screen? <laughs> yeah, that's how it is with amber and small inclusions. Such crazy eyes, totally unproportional to the rest of the body. There is no doubt in that this is a true bug from Hemiptera order. As for the family or the species, it's quite tough. Burmite Ember is still hugely understudied and there's tons of insects that are not described yet. My guess is this is Paleoleptus, but need to wait for expert comments. This tiny booger has some insane details on its body, totally awesome piece. Yep, so who inspected this kind of details from such a tiny inclusion? Definitely not me. And now let's take another one. Which is gonna be, uh, let's take one more dark piece, this one, the termite. Very aesthetic, can't take anything from this piece. A look closer. Yeah, cool. Pleasant color, but uh, this color 
makes it harder to get crisp pictures with the microscope. Either way, let's put it in there. Very oxidized termite. It's from Isoptera infraorder. Similarly as ants, termites are eusocial insects, except they are more closely related to cockroaches. Very pleasant tiny collectible. Cool termite, not much to say about that one, but I know what I haven't shown you in this video yet, which is a plant, but not any kind of plant, a moss. This one, super tiny and quite dark and oxidized. I'm not sure if we can get good pictures, but at least somehow decent will do. And I think I will show you two at once because I have here partial cockroach, which is not very cool, but cool details, even though it's missing a head. Fun fact, by the way, cockroaches can live without a head for a few days until they starve from hunger. Very oxidized. Barely any details are visible at this point. Cute plant. It's very similar to moss. It's called liverwort. These kind of plants prefer warm, moist environments, which is exactly the kind of environment was where this ember came from, just around 100 million years ago in Myanmar. And there we see a modern liverwort plant that looks kinda similar to that in ember. As for the cockroach, I can't ID it without seeing its head. It's possible that the head is under the spore. Either way, this is nice and clear and occlusion looks exceptionally well preserved. Okay, did not expect that. <laughs> this moss looks a lot better under the phone camera than under the microscope. Surprise, surprise, right? Few more years and we won't need microscope to make pictures for the inc inclusions in macro setting. Crazy stuff. Yeah, still, quite nice a piece of moss with a root and everything. Love it. So next, uh, a Coleoptera beetle. Yeah, well, let's check this one under magnification. Looks quite aesthetic. Beetles are totally out of my expertise to identify. All I can say is that this insect belongs to order Coleoptera. Specimen looks like it was about to fly when it got trapped in the raisin trap. Cool scene. It's quite oxidized and yeah, not, not much to say about this one. I'm not even sure about specific species other than its Coleoptera family. And yeah, I wanna speed run this thing into the main piece, this one. And we have before it just one more, some sort of flying insect, but we're gonna have problems with this one because it's on the very edge of the ember and yeah, the ember is curved, so it will reflect light like, like crazy. Yoink, under the microscope. It got identified as a soft fly. The wasps evolved from the soft flies, so there's that. It looks nicely preserved. Unfortunately, now under microscope we can see scratches on the curved edge of the amber. They will have to get removed to get better view on the specimen. Was wrong again in my mind. I was thinking this one gonna be a fly, aka the diptera. And yep, it's most likely him, himenopteran, and I think maybe saw fly. And Still can't you show can show you this one uh, because I have one more, but this one is not disappointing. I think this is gonna be a, a one more extinct cockroach, but from a little bit other genus, uh, other family. I'm sorry, it's gonna be manipulator cockroach, a juvenile. Look at these freaky long legs. No doubt in my mind, this is manipulator, a predatory cockroach which was sprinting. I have made informative video about these boogers. And this is the back, very murky piece. This weird crystallization always gets in the way to make pictures, so I don't expect the good pictures from this one. And there looks like small hole in the body, so it was removed a bit too much. So a bit damaged, which is a shame. Still, wanna be cool. Yep, 100% in the manipulatory dia family member. The killer cockroach. If you want to learn more about these killer roaches, check out my informative video playlist. There is a whole video dedicated for this one. 
In summary, this roach was a predatory one, long legs suggest it was able to sprint for short durations, so it probably was an ambush predator. At first, scientists were thinking it was mantis-related evolutionary dead end, but now it's officially in true cockroaches family tree, the Blatodians. I don't know how could I forget about this piece with manipulator that I have to photograph it. Yes, the pictures are not the best, but I love extinct animals so much. The fact it, that it's extinct and yet I'm holding it in my hand. Like, how cool is that? Crazy cool, okay? If you think otherwise. <laughs> okay, the star of the show. The best piece, the most aesthetic piece. And with the coolest inclusion, maybe? Well, maybe, because it's a vase, but it's not ordinary vase. It was with the cool mandibles and the piece itself has very aesthetic swirls of amber lines. Let's get this baby under the microscope and not waste your time any longer. It's gonna be a banger, I promise. This is insanely nice wasp. Would love a bit crisper photos on this piece, but overall it's hot. Crazy mandibles, big eyes, wings venation preserved. Judging visually, it looks a bit similar to Crabronidae wasps, but that's just an idea. Once again, experts are needed to get proper ID for this beast. Try to do photo from the backside too. Preservation-wise, this is top quality collectors and museum grade specimen. Piece itself is also very pleasant shape and quite clear. When I look at these whiskers, it reminds me of ants and that makes sense since ants evolved from the wasps. And there we go, that was 11 pieces, one more piece than usual, and I hope you did enjoy all of these inclusions as much as I did. And yeah, that's it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Ember content in the future. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye!